Johnny Depp and Amber Heard go at it in court. Doctor Strange comes back with an insane movie. And She-Hulk. Did you see the trailer? Because it's a little crazy. My name is Sufyan. And I'm Denny. Welcome to the show. Welcome, guys. And thank you for being here. And right off the bat, we're going to start with... Some gaming news, because I am your resident geek, and it's yes. about time that I do something about it. Why so. did you laugh? <laughs> Can you, are you not taking yourself seriously? How are they going to take you seriously if you don't take yourself seriously? <laughs> you see how my powers work, folks. <laughs> he didn't even have to do anything. No, just my rage. Yeah. Well, he is a resident geek, and we trust him with everything geeky here. So, Denny, what you got for us? So, right. So, right off the bat, with some gaming news... Um, big gaming news right now is Fall Guys. So Fall Guys is set to be free for all starting this. Well, they changed it again. It was supposed to be June twenty first. Now it's going to be August twenty sixth. So surprise, surprise. Oh, wait, is it like a different name? So no, it's going to be Fall Guys. It's just that it's going to be free for all. So you'll be able to download what does that it for mean? free. Well, oh, because you, you had to pay. Yes, so if you let me just explain let it. Let him explain it. Okay. <laughs> okay. I didn't know you had to pay for it. So. Yes, originally you had to pay for it. It was like $20. Um, Jesus. So it go on sale for 10 I got it for free because I had PlayStation Plus. You stole it? No, they gave it to us for free, part of PlayStation Plus. Okay. So now what's going to happen is that um, those who did pay are going to lose their money. But it's going to be free for all. But here's the problem. Here's the thing. Right. So not only are they going to the, they're going to restart the season. Right now we're in season six. They're going to restart to season one. So what does that mean? It means that it looks like the battle pass or whatever, or the gaming pass, the season pass, or they used to call it fame, um, where we get free costumes, they're going to start charging us for that. So in, in leak shows that um, crowns, which was the currency for buying costumes, has been removed and replaced with primos or primos. Because in Spanish, that it, it's primos is spelled the exact same way. So I don't know if they're going to call it primos. Most likely it'll be primos. So we're just going to assume That's primos. That's slightly racist. Okay, but go ahead. It's spelled exactly how Is it like primos? It's, yeah. Like first? Like cousin. Oh, cousin. cousin. Oh, okay. Primo. Yeah, Mi primo. Cousin. How's that racist? <laughs> anyway. Uh, I was thinking something else. Oh. So, so wait. <laughs> Projection much? No. So it's, <laughs> <laughs> so it's going to be free, but the costumes are going to be... So pretty much the primos are going to be a form of currency, much like V-Bucks in Fortnite. Oh my um, God. I'm so tired of games doing that. I know. And the thing is, and the primos will be used to pay for a season pass and costumes. So they'll have costumes that'll be like 500 primos. Now, this is all based on a leak because the leak shows where the crowns are primos. Um, the, what the, current, the current currency is called kudos. Kudos has been... Well, no, actually, kudos are still in the game, but the crowns are gone. And it looks like the primos are in its place. So that kind of pisses me off because before the season pass used to be free, and now we have to pay for the season like Fortnite. And it's obviously because Epic Games took over. So this is pretty can, much mirroring can, uh, Fortnite. Can, can, can I just say, like, I feel like every single, like, video game have their own currency, and it's so confusing. And even social media right now, like TikTok, there's like you gotta buy like different coins and it's just what's a what's a, what's a V bucks? How much is it worth? Well, what's a what's a rose on TikTok or? Well, that's the thing. V bucks do have like a value. Like for example, five thousand V bucks oh, cost you about like thirty two American dollars. But I do I know they got a value, but it's so like confusing. Imagine you live in a country and you have to deal with like twenty currencies. I feel like that's the same. Well, well, that's the thing. I mean, every they obviously have to make their money somehow. I mean, Fall Guys wasn't making Why as much you? money with people buying the game that they decided to switch to this format. But again, it is because of Epic Games. Epic Games is buying Fortnite, so naturally it follows suit that they would mimic what's happening in Fortnite. You're making money. You're charging people the, the season pass, so you're making money. There's 900 primos. Um, your costumes are going to cost like 500 primos. But the thing that pisses me off is that um, before you use crown, when you win the game in Fall Guys, you get a crown. Now I've won. Yes, I am. <laughs> you what? I've you won. won? I've, I have over 500 solo wins. Not an wow. easy feat, and I've earned about 300 crowns as a result from those wins alone. Because I wasted a lot, obviously, and also sometimes you get crowns. But my personal crowns in the bank right now is 300 crowns. So what pisses me off is that those hard-earned crowns are now going to disappear. So what the fuck? So those crowns I was used for future costumes are no longer valid. They've been rendered moot. Um, the thing, the thing that they seem like they're going to do, however, is that according to the leak, we, every player, or, or maybe legendary players, because that's what they're calling us, mm -hmm. um, are going to get 13,500 primos. 
So that should cover at least a few seasons and a few costumes. But once it runs out, I'm like, you know what? I don't think I'm going to play anymore. I think they're, they're going to, they're going to lose a lot of fans. Cause they're definitely going to lose me. Cause I mean, what is the point now of playing? It's like, like I used all to play your effort win. is gone. Basically. That and not even that. Like, what am I playing for? I played just to win a crown, which which I would use for the costumes that only cost crowns. It was kind of like a reward system that I was like, all right, used to. Now you took that away. So what are you going to give us? Primos? Like, I don't, I don't even want to play for honestly, primos. Honestly, are you yeah. going to give us nothing? Like, is it just the thrill of winning? That's not enough for me. That's not like Fortnite. As honestly, much. I get your frustration, but I don't think they care because they know they will make oh. loads of money. No, no, no. They're going to care once the legendary players start realizing, you know what? Bullshit. No thanks. Take the game to the new players and good luck with that because I, guess I what? Just, the game is already st- already starting to like fall off the radar. I so just good luck with that. I just hate yeah. this business model and yeah. honestly, I feel like they take advantage yeah. of children. Oh yeah, for and, sure. And their parents and wallet, the of parents course. like their Apple accounts and stuff like that. But like, it, you buy coins and they it's like a thousand coins and you get this costume or you get this vehicle or I'm talking like for example PUBG, you get to buy stuff with like this currency i can't even remember the name but it just makes no sense when like you see the value like a coin and a dollar and you end up spending so much more because it's so confusing well, well, well the thing is for i the, think they do it on purpose well the they thing for the confusing. costumes yes they make the costumes at a certain like you know for example fortnite it's like 20 dollars for like let's say they just released a robocop co- robocop costume which obviously i had to get so they got me there <laughs> did you buy and, it of course i did how much was it it was like well i had yeah i had to i spent 32 bucks on, on v bucks 32 no 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 no. for 32 bucks, bucks for 5,000 v bucks which pretty much the costume was about 20 22,000 v bucks but so, okay so i have you say that in, can you say that in dollars how much did the robocop costume cost okay. you in dollars all right so in dollars 20 20 dollars for everything what do you mean everything the backpack the the emoji so the, the emoji no because the costume alone is 15 dollars 20 dollars i got them the this emoji. is I mean, insane not the, emoji, the emote i got the emote we're in the metaverse like you just bought is a metaverse you just bought clothing that you're not gonna wear in it's real life it's a skin for my costume but that's how it's they get so you. it's crazy to it's, me it's just for bragging rights like look i got this yeah darth, i got this also, Robocop costume i have the darth vader costume that's gonna come out yeah it, they took like what's going on in real life and they just translated it into the digital and gaming world so people are dressing up in the in the in the virtual world exactly. to impress their friends yes and also for me, because... But it's I, not physical. But, yeah, it doesn't matter. But that's how gaming works now. It I doesn't know, have to be physical. So but that's crazy. how they get your money. That's the whole point with, with this Fall Guys thing. Now they're going to be like, for these cool costumes, I have to pay primos. But to be fair, you couldn't buy crowns before. You had to win the crowns. Or you would get crowns through a season pass, which we're no longer going to get. Yeah. You would get crowns for doing like a survey. So that, But crowns were so such a rare currency. Like if, if, I, if you have like... I mean, there are people probably have like over a thousand crowns because they probably have like 3,000 wins or whatever. And they spend... They bought everything in a, in a store. I mean... They're, I bet they're gonna be fucking pissed because it's like I had those those crowns saved for future costumes, so I never have to like ever win again. I could just get the damn costumes and move on. Oh well, now we have to start over with primos. So thanks. you know how you know how no, our generate <laughs> my generation my <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah <laughs> well your generation too mm-hmm. and my generation yeah. we value like physical things. Like for example, we consider like buying a. Uh, a Rolls Royce like as the ultimate status symbol and I feel like children growing up right now the ultimate status symbol is having like the biggest yes. house in like a game okay to be fair yes that is true um, also uh, I was gonna make a point and I totally forgot god damn it there was a point too oh well no oh, oh, oh well here's the thing um, yes I'm the same way um, I mean I only got the costumes because again most of the costumes I got were during the the um, quarantine so the government's paying us like 600 extra dollars a week so that's where some of my money went. Wow. And not even that I only spent like That's I, where I your spend, tax tax money goes that guys. Many, that many V-bucks. It was like maybe like V-bucks. 30 V-bucks a week that I was spent. So I was getting $600 extra a week so that's I could where afford your it. Hard earned that's hard-earned tax money so goes guys. I didn't spend a single dime except for this recent $30 I did spend out of my own pocket. Thank you for paying your taxes guys. Yeah. We need them for things like no, this. No, thanks COVID. We, I appreciate you. <laughs> okay, what else you got? Uh, so on lighter news, so besides, so on lighter news, we have I have um, news on two games that are coming out that I'm very excited about. <gasps> uh, we got the Pokemon Violet and Scarlet is set to be released later this year, along with additional new Pokemon. Is but, that? But that's not the that's not the big news right there. The big news is is the fact is that that this new iteration of Pokemon is set for the first time to give players access to a fully open world <gasps> so really pokemon in an open world fully open world wow so it's like gta but 
Pokemon. Fully open world. So you're going to spend hours of your life Wait, wasting hours nice. of your life in this fully open world. That's something I'd buy. So definitely. I can't wait for that. That's probably the reason I'm going to get the Switch now. And also, it is the return finally to gym leader battles, which is a staple of Pokemon games that has been taken away in the recent iterations. I remember when I was like in middle school, I used to play Pokemon so much on like the Game Boy. So did I. It's it's amazing. It's 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 one of the best games ever. Oh yeah, it's sort of it's a, it's a, one of the best RPGs out there. Yeah. But it's gonna get better because again, fully open world. We got new Pokemon. Obviously, with the graphics of the Switch, which you know, I guess for the Switch, I'm a PlayStation Xbox guy. I'm like whatever. It's not that impressive. <laughs> anyway, you know, I, on. Fe- I what I'd love to have a Switch. I feel like if you have like a game night or a party. Oh Mario Party! It's so fun. Super Smash Brothers so Mario fun. Kart. Oh my! Yeah, God. we should do that. We should totally get it. Okay, I well, would love to kick your asses. Cool. Well, go buy it, Denny. So, in <laughs> other news, we also have Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles: Shredder's Revenge. Uh, it's coming out um, later this year. That's a game. It's, oh yeah, it's a return to the side-scrolling brawler genre. So, um, this game um, featuring those famous turtles is a nod to one of my favorite games of all time. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the arcade game. I would spend hours playing that arcade game when I was a kid. And um, again, I used to play a lot in arcades and eventually in the comfort of my own home. It's one of the best brawler games. Side-scroller brawler. I don't even know if you know what a side-scroller brawler is. No, what's that? Of course he wouldn't. (laughs) What is it? Four players on the same screen fighting fighting villains. Oh, like, like, like like a Super Mario thing. What's it called? The the racing game or maybe smash brothers Sp- smash brothers but in this case yeah. it's a side scroller so you're moving on the screen uh, through different levels and you can't move on to your players are all together and you just keep going and you defeat oh you have to guys. wait for them yeah the player, you just can't move oh, on to the screen oh okay wait, okay you're st- it's i think like i play the game it's like a side that. scroller okay now this version uh looks like a graphically updated version of the game i'll be with all new levels and clearly shredder is well back for revenge who the fuck is shredder wow <laughs> Who is Shredder? You kept saying Shredder, Shredder, Shredder. Who is Shredder? At this point, I'm sure there's going to be a clip of like Shredder saying, you know, that line in the Ninja Turtle 90s. Did you even see the Ninja Is it the rat? Movie? Is oh it the my rat? God. No. Who is it? Shredder is the one with the freaking things that he shreds with. Shredder. That did not explain anything. Help me. What's Shredder? Do I have to Google it? Okay, I'll Google it. Well, you're going to put the image of Shredder probably saying like, Ninja I am Shredder. Mutant. The Shredder. Shredder. I'm sure he's going to do that. Someone's taking pictures of us, by the way. Oh, we have an audience member. As, yeah. Uh, oh, so, this is Shredder? Yes. Oh, so Shredder is the villain. Oh, my God. Right? I literally said it. The game is called Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Shredder's Revenge. Okay, so it's, okay, that's Shredder. Kind of reminds me of Wolverine. Okay, fair enough. Right? So he has those things. Those yeah, spiky like things. little spiky things on that. But I was when I said the line you're gonna use from like the Ninja Turtle '90s movie. That's where he he says like I don't know. Okay. I'm the Shredder. I, I forget. It's been a while. He doesn't really talk in that film. Oh, he does not. Not a lot. He does, but it's not like. I mean, you have to see it. There he is. That's the movie version right there. Where? Go, 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 go. Right there, right there. This one, no, this no, no. one? Th- that, that one. There, that's the movie version. Oh. Wait, there's a movie? I will begin what I began by cutting your ear. He does say that. Yeah, oh. that, that's, a, that's the live action 1990s version, which was amazing. Okay. The best Ninja Turtle movie ever. Human. Better than amazing. that. Better than that CGI bullshit that they came out with. Thanks, Michael Bay, for ruining the turtles. Okay. I haven't seen that, but of course, I trust your judgment. Surprise, surprise. Oh, and in a quick side note, Sufjan is getting into Star Trek now, thanks to me. Yes. Oh, my gosh. And then let's go. Star Trek is amazing. You're welcome. Let me tell you guys, it is so like, it's, uh, it's so like, it's deep. It's, they talk about like real issues in the real world, but like through like allegories and metaphors and And things like that. And it's just, and it's it's amazing. It's our potential possible future. Yeah. And it, it, it links both past, present, and future. And it's just, every episode is different. And you, you never get bored. And here's something that's going to blow his mind. See, that show came out in 1987. Now, you see this thing right here? I don't know if you guys can oh. see. This, the, the, this is what we call an iPad. In Star Trek, they started with what's called a data pad, which is exactly what we have now. And that data pad was something that was 
was the time period of, of Star Trek The Next Generation is the 2300s. No, they were so, definitely ahead so they were of their already, time. And now we're catching up to them now yeah. in our time period before them. So they're definitely ahead of their time. But they, the thing about Star Trek, they use real science and they use real technological. It's you like, know, it's, it's a hard science fiction. So yeah. They, yeah. No, no, no I, I love it. I can't wait to watch the, the rest of the episodes and, and, and the day, seasons. Star Trek will outdate Star Trek. We'll actually be further ahead. I don't think we'll have teleportation Ooh. devices, but you never know. Because even in the 60s, that communicator... One to beam up. Even that in the sixth. All right, can we? Can you come back to Earth, please? <laughs> you do that. I'm more like I'm more like uh huh uh huh uh huh. <laughs> That's like uh, what's his name from yesterday? <laughs> the oh yeah yeah. yeah we'll talk Doctor about that Strange, later. We'll talk yeah. about that later. Okay, so that was. Oh, no, but, but real quick, remember oh. in the 60s when they do like that phone communicator thing? That yeah yeah yeah. That's a flip phone. That's yeah, yeah. No, no, no. I, I was back I in the sixties, already yeah. ahead. Anyway, whatever. Yeah. All right, continue. All right. Okay, so that was Denny's geeky corner. Gaming Thanks news. A lot. Gaming, Gaming news section. Gaming news. Um, Thank you. Much, young. I'm gonna Thank take you, young, you young. to um, a different, um, a different vibe here. As you guys know, as everyone knows, the latest spectacle that is Johnny Depp and Amber Heard. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know when she makes what? that face. Is she's, it when she talks about yeah, the bee and the like, dog? That my dog stepped on the bee. <laughs> it's like oh my um, god okay what can, happened there can i just say is it just like it's so fascinating the attention that this is getting and the the, the fans and everything like even the lawyers are becoming like <laughs> stars and it's 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 crazy what what are your thoughts about it okay uh, <laughs> i can't help it <laughs> like it's just it's the, it's, it's insane the amber, heard, the, the amber heard disease um, it's, it's crazy it, because it is it's, it's it's a spectacle that she created that she created like 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 stupidly like like she uh, like she was trying to like i don't know fuck over johnny depp and she ended up fucking herself over like so bad like she fucking lost like that's it it's over her career i <sighs> everything over it's just so just like her facial expressions oh my over God. it's just so interesting to me like the spectacle that this turned out to be it's just there's like lives on youtube there's people making careers out of this like becoming successful youtubers <laughs> and i just wanted to show you how wink, crazy it wink. is like even what are you winking about <laughs> <laughs> they're becoming famous using the <laughs> oh like i uh, like we're doing it right <laughs> no, no that's not that <laughs> no. no but let me show you her name is oh i forgot uh the lawyer johnny depp's lo- Cam- camille vasquez i sure. think maybe but look how famous she is right now like she has fans now oh my god oh, hi camille yeah thanks so much and paparazzi and stuff oh my. Camille, what do you say to the fans of johnny depp who are still convinced that you're dating johnny depp what do you say <laughs> i wish <laughs> today anything Tommy, I have your back. this is a lawyer guys a and she's like paparazzi it's, it's it's and she's already acting with celebrity crazy. by ignoring the paparazzi and these are the fans fangirling over the lawyer <laughs> oh, she has a lot of latina fans i i, yeah, I, I didn't catch what she what they said And there's like, there's like a crowd and banners and. Well, she's got a lot of lot of Latinx supporters. Let me tell you, she's like the pride of like yeah, I, I mean, the Latin yeah. community. I mean, she's I, she's really good, obviously. And she's like, a cute. I watched a little bit uh, of yeah, she's cute. She's beautiful. Yeah. But it's just it's 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 crazy what this has become. This is, at the core of it, this is a sad story about like domestic abuse. Well, between two people right, who, two, two and people honestly, and mental health, mental health, mental issues. health, and honestly, I feel like yeah, everyone dislikes Amber Heard, but I'm just gonna she say she took it. away Jack Sparrow and Grindelwald. So is Johnny Depp an angel here? Did he make no mistakes? Because when I listen, when I I saw some clips mm-hmm. when they put like odd, she, she was recording, he was recording her, and she was recording him. And when you hear the conversations and you look at the footage, that wasn't a healthy conversation. And honestly, none of them look good. But we can all agree that the real victim here I'm is, not, is our eyes for watching these videos. But no, I'm, in all seriousness, no, I mean, I mean, Johnny, De- I mean, she was trying to fuck over Johnny Depp and it backfired. I'm not saying Johnny Depp is like, you know, an angel. But at the end of the day, we, we know who the true antagonist here is. 
Yeah. And and it, and she was trying to like obviously do whatever she wanted to do to it up, and it backfired in her face. And that's what it's all is. It's just a crazy person, a mentally unstable person's, um, you know, now, attempt attempt to destroy someone's life that ended up backfiring and destroying their own life. There are some gems though that came out of this <laughs> trial. <laughs> Let me tell you. Mm-hmm. So a couple of days ago, this psychiatrist came to testify against Johnny Depp. And this apparently was Amber Heard's like expert. And he was going to like reveal how bad Johnny Depp is. And this psychiatrist was... was Wait, He's not a psychiatrist? Well, okay. You'll he's see why I'm saying girl. psychiatrist. Come, come, come. I guess we'll just... We'll right, sh- let's, we'll make it, it. let's make it so. Okay. But Willy Wonka doesn't matter to you. <laughs> You see in that movie, Charlie and Chocolate Factory? Did you look at that one when you were comparing this process of speed? Oh, my. Okay. Is, is, uh, do I have to answer that question, Your Honor? You have to answer questions. Yes, sir. No, you'll be happy to know I didn't see Willy Wonka. As a, as I didn't see 21 Jump Street. Oh my god oh, no what was him. that no one asked him if he saw 21 jump street so bitch you saw 21 jump street because nobody fucking asked you no but and it's like well, do i have to answer the question well that's what you're here for <laughs> duh but what's up with that <laughs> i think adventures are coming out <laughs> that was so bizarre even johnny depp was like he's like, he was like what's oh, going oh, on what, there? What, what is what is what is perchance what is happening now oh i like your um captain spare oh, thank, um, thank you thank you yeah. Yeah. but <laughs> wow that's actually really good thank you matey oh <laughs> well you need the cup you know how he's always like drinking that's happy <laughs> you're actually really good thank you mate oh my god with the hands how do you do that? Like, just pretend I don't have a wrist. It's <laughs> called being a homosexual. <laughs> You're welcome. Okay. So that was Johnny Depp and Amber Heard and her mouth liquor, air liquor, psychiatrist and expert, apparently. Now, ha! <laughs> doctors change, ladies and gentlemen. I have to be honest. I was not like super excited about it. I was like, eh, whatever. It's I another sh- Marvel movie. Mm-hmm. 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 But I have to say, great movie. Super entertaining. I loved it. I'm we glad. watched it yesterday. We did. Because I was going to talk about today. And yes, um, I, when I do this, we'll, that means spoiler alert. And when I do it again, that means we're done talking the, about the film. So, um, so yeah, I had told him to watch one episode of WandaVision. So you can like, kind of get the, the whole thing about Wanda. Which Ain't nobody got time for that. So, oh, here we go, folks. Spoiler time. <laughs> so it was to me. It was. It actually was a good movie. What What really shocked? Me, oh shoot! Did our audience member see the movie? Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. They, this is gonna be. This is gonna air in September. No, no. So, did our audience member right there? Oh, I don't. No, no, no. He's fine. Uh, he audience he, member. Did you see Doctor Strange? He's not even. Okay. He, you're fine. Okay. So, spoilers. Um, so yeah, no, I was very surprised and, and shocked when it turned out that wa- that the Scarlet Witch would be the actual villain. So um, that was, that was, that was shocking for me. And it, and it kind of, it was kind of hurtful. It was kind of like, you know, like, oh no, no, okay. no, 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 Okay. So no, question, no. was she a good person in the other movies? Cause I just assumed she was bad all the time. <laughs> because... Uh, they didn't explain it I told him in the movie. to watch the episode of WandaVision just Wait, so, one episode and he would have been caught up on the see, whole thing okay in the, they did a bad job at explaining Avengers. like a little bit of the backstory no because you were supposed to watch WandaVision they did no. not do a bad job of telling the story because you not were supposed to, watch, supposed to watch everything you were supposed to watch WandaVision WandaVision came out a year ago Okay. You had plenty of time to watch nine so episodes so she was a good person she was, a, she was one of the did you see Avengers guys. did you see Avengers you remember her right no, I don't even know. Who wow. She is. So he's going to complain about something. See, that's the problem with this generation. No, it's like, they don't do any inconvenience. They don't, they don't like, <laughs> explain the backstory. It's like, bitch, there's a fucking, no, a fucking no, show based on it. They have to explain it's it called, to people who are not in the loop. It's like, called stop being so ADHD and focus on what's actually in front of you. Before I you am not going to watch a movie just to understand another it's movie. It's not a movie. It's a show. But anyway, the point is, don't complain. Because it's a they, show? They ex- oh, I'm definitely not watching They explained that. it. And yes, in the movies, while well, she was known as Wanda Maximoff, she, her power set was a little strange to the fans, and it was for me too because she that wasn't her true powers. Um, so they kind of 
um, after the event of Avengers Endgame, you know, she lost her lover. She had to actually, you know, destroy him by, you know, by removing the Infinity Stone. She, she had to inadvertently destroy him. So she lost the one she loved. Um, and then we follow her in this, in this show called WandaVision, where we learn how, how far her grief takes her to the point where she creates an alter, an, uh, she creates a re, uh, an alternate reality or, 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 she, or, she, or she affects the reality in this town to serve her needs, to, to help her deal with her grief to the point where she actually even gives birth to two children. Now, of course, how did she give birth to two children if she doesn't have a lover well, or if her, her lover died? Who's the daddy? It's called watching WandaVision. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Explain so, it. So to in me. that, how in, did she so, have kids? So, Is she like the it, Virgin Mary? Yeah. No, you're gonna have to see it. So in, in that, in, in WandaVision, yes, she does resurrect vision. Um, again, a, that's the thing. Her power sets, what we find out later on throughout the show is that her true power set, which is in the comics, is that she has the ability to alter reality and make things, bring things into, into existence. And that's what she does. She really does give birth to these children, albeit in this reality that she's created. So you can argue that they're, they're not real, but to her, they are. Because at the end of that show, she had to sacrifice all of that, wake up, get over it, and, and you know, deal with the consequences of, of taking over a town. She took over an entire town. Hmm. Now... She is a good guy, but again, she made mistakes and you thought she learned from it. But clearly the effects of having children got to her where she turned to the dark home and it corrupted her and she became, she became the, the villain of this movie. Okay. And it's quite sad when you think about it because it's like, no one, because that's how I felt. And a lot of fans felt it that is, way too. It's it's heartbreaking. Like, it, it is because it's like, no, not, not, they, they, they did, they, they fixed her to be the Scarlet Witch only to take her away from us by making her the but villain. But honestly, like, it's heartbreaking, but you have to be a little bitch if you cried at the end of the movie. <laughs> or you have to have no soul to not feel anything. <laughs> I'm just kidding, but it's so cute because you... Because <laughs> you actually, like... Oh, my God! Because you actually cried. Then he cried, guys. He has no proof, so I can either confirm or deny these rumors. You literally Look, told me. my dog <laughs> stepped on a bee. <laughs> can you tell us what made you cry? I will neither confirm nor deny, but there was a <laughs> scene towards the end where, she, where, where this whole thing is about, she does all this, she goes on this rampage and does all this carnage, um, only to realize, well, she keeps saying, I'm not a monster. I just want my children. It's like, okay, great. Well, you're killing people, so you are a monster. And at the end, when she actually confronts the children that she wants to for herself, she says to them, and I quote, I'm not a monster. And then she realizes as the kids are crying, saying, please don't hurt us, that she actually, they were scared she, of finally re she finally admits herself that she has been a monster. Yeah. And then you see her reaction to that. And then that was actually heartbreaking because it's like, well, you've all the shit you did. And only now you've lied to yourself only now to see the, the looks on these kids' faces to realize you are the fucking monster. And also she, she, she just knows that she'll never get that and reality. And she realized that, that she has to let go of that, that she will never have that. In every other alternate reality, there are, Wanda has children, except in her reality, she never really has children because, again, um, she lost the man that she loved her. And even, yeah. if he, and even if Vision could have children, he's, a, he's an android, so I don't see how that would work. But, okay. I mean, whatever. You know, yeah. it's Marvel. So, okay. so I mean, and, we, and of course, in this movie, we also got an amazing cameo. Of course, Patrick Stewart reprising mm. his role as Charles I was like, Xavier. Ah! He definitely geeked out. I, I already knew. And what I, what it's I, because of Star Trek. And what I, well, that's that. And what I found, what I went like fanboy about, like fanboy crazy was the reveal of Mr. Fantastic, AKA Reed Richards played by John Kowalski. Mm. So they finally revealed to us who was playing Mr. Fantastic. And that was my geek out moment. I was like this the whole time because she killed all oh, of yeah. them. That scene where she fought them and, and she killed, she killed a little um, gory. She killed with th the guy with the mouth. Like oh yeah. His well, brain his is like black bolt yeah. because, she, because at one point, his voice literally Mr. Fantastic is like, is like, you know what? We, he, Black Bolt can stop you with a whisper with his mouth. And she's like, what mouth? And yeah. then he has no mouth. And I guess he's trying to like talk. How did she and do that, by the way? She can, remember, she, she has, could alter reality. So mm, she altered mm. the reality of him having a mouth. Okay. What does he have a fork on his forehead? Well, that has to do with his costume from the comics. Because oh. he's, he's, a, he's a king of the Inhumans. Okay. I okay. know that, that they definitely would have to have Marvel knowledge like okay. me, like yours truly. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, but but other it was a, it was a great story. How I much mean, would you rate it? Well, well, first I I do want to say it, it was a fun movie. There was so much happening. It was a good movie. Um, there were little parts are a little slow, but I did really? love. I felt like it was like action packed, like it was super uh, fast. Uh, paced. Well, little little things. Like I said, I said little. I did like the addition of America Chavez. Um, and her, the actress's name is so hard to say. It's Inukshkutch Fudge. Let me see it. Where is it? I don't actually have it here. We'd have to look it up. Okay, let's see. But the actress playing playing America Chavez. First of all, the addition of that character, the actress herself. 
just a wonderful addition to the MCU. She's good. She looks great. Um, there it is. Cochiti uh, Gomez. Is that how you pronounce it? Hoshiti. Hoshiti Ho Gomez. You tell me. It's really... I, she is... She... Oh, my God. Okay. <laughs> no. Forgive no. us, Miss um, Gomez. Um, but she, she did such a great job in the film. And she was she, really she, good. She's an, and I loved her character. I loved her acting. She's only 16. She's only 16. What? Wow. She was born in 2006. Wow. Dude, wow, they really here in LA. Good for her. Yeah. Look at her, 16 years old, never been a kissed, and here you are in the MCU. Are. Wow. What do you mean, never Congrats. been kissed? It's it's an expression my dad would say if you're like super young. You, oh. you, you can either say never been kissed or doesn't even know how to wipe their well, own ass. Well, let's not assume that. She, oh. No, no, no. It's an expression. Never been kissed or he doesn't even know how to wipe their own ass. And look at look at her story. In a, oh my god, movie. I thought you said something about ass, something different. But anyway, I have to repeat myself because I do tend to speak a little fast, so I have to slow yeah, it just down. Just a just a tiny bit. Just a notch. Yeah. I do everything fast, including my sex. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> unfortunately for your partners well i'm the one getting pleasure <laughs> you know <what> I'm <laughs> okay how much would you rate it so out of my rating system of 10 uh, mm, i'll give it a solid eight excuse me because <laughs> i asked you yesterday and i'm looking <laughs> at your rating here <laughs> and it's not it's not eight <laughs> <laughs> okay originally, did you change your mind because you're afraid of what people are gonna say I've, never i couldn't care less i only changed it because actually you made me change my mind realized when you realized that the movie actually was better than i thought because originally i gave it a 7.5 because again i was that's a I, was disapp point. I was disappointed uh, that she, that wanda or wanda maxoff aka the scarlet witch became the antagonist of the film but once once he made me realize that the movie is actually more than you that, have to look at I the gave quality of the movie not like because yes that's why i gave it an eight all right okay. i yeah, give it an happy <laughs> yes. happy Happy? I mean, I see 7.5. Yesterday you, you said 7.5. So yes. I, gotta, I need to understand. You see uh, nothing. You need to I understand. I give it an 8. Nothing. And when I give a movie an 8, it's it's rare. And why do you give an 8? Tell us. Because I, I, it's so entertaining and it has so many like funny scenes. It's mm. funny and action packed. Oh, yes, that's My it. favorite scene is when they're in um, this alternate new york and there's a, a hot dog guy oh him or bruce, pizza ball yes, guy who can't uh, pizza ball bruce campbell who played ash <laughs> and, uh ash in, in, in the, in the evil he, dead series dr strange makes him hit himself <laughs> he wakes and, him and at the end credits you see him still he's like he finally says he's like oh it's over. over which is a play on the i wish it. when he said it's over it would like i know that would have been funny but again. he does he's famous for hitting himself because in the evil dead series he, his hand gets possessed and attacks him so he's, he's oh, known for that shit okay, okay. And it was whenever, so funny i was laughing so hard and wherever and sam rammy directed this film so wherever there's sam rammy he always gives a guest appearance either to his brother ted rammy or to bruce campbell again of the evil dead franchise mm, 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 and, yeah. and bruce campbell just always yeah. funny i also thought the 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 um vfx were super good yes like, the special effects were amazing yeah and, yeah. and Benedict Cumberbatch, great job, of course. Yeah, amazing. Although I have to say, um, <clears throat> he's obviously wearing a hairpiece on the on the movie. Did you did you notice that? I thought it was just his hair was super dyed. No, he's wearing because like if you look at his pictures, his forehead is like. Wait, let, let me show you, and you'll see, Benedict Cumberbatch. So this is his normal hairline, here, right here. But well, he has a shaved head now. But when you no no when you watch the movie, the hairpiece is literally like here, <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> like his forehead. Norm, I'm not. Are this we, is not we, you need shading. To like I, hope, I, I like big forehead. I hope you show this to the audience. I will, but okay. like this is his forehead in in real life. But in Doctor Strange, his forehead is this because they bring his Are hairline. You sure, because when the eye appears at okay. the end. All right, Look, no, all right. Doctor okay, Strange. Let's do it. And the multiverse of madness. Okay, let's see. I, it was so distracting because I just kept looking at it, at his hair. Okay, let's see a good one. I I, I think you're exaggerating. I am not. Oh, look, I, I, actually, I saw it right there. Uh, yes. A let's bit, let's bit, look at it. For it is not that tiny. Come, okay, well, yeah, I see it now. See. Okay. <laughs> and there were scenes where it was even like m more than that. Okay. Well, now that we moved on from Benedict Cumberbatch's um, forehead. <laughs> I did want to talk about real quick in our in in this uh, movie news and review section of our of, of this podcast um, that exciting news in in the world of anime. Um, Dragon Ball Super superhero is set to debut this summer. Yes, folks, a new Dragon Ball movie is coming a out. A movie or a TV an show? An anime movie is coming to theaters. Uh, the movie takes place after the in events theaters? of. 
<clears throat> the movie takes place after the events of Dragon Ball Super Broly and features the return of the Red Ribbon Army. Oh my a god! Throwback to an old antagonist. But we are getting a new Dragon Ball movie. How long has it been since the last one? Before pandemic, so I'm gonna say 2019, possibly okay. 2018. Okay, Something okay, like that. I can't I'm, wait. I'm gonna, never, 20, I'm gonna say 2019. I've never seen Dragon Ball in like a theater. Oh, I, I is it gonna be IMAX? I have. I've seen the original Dragon Ball in theater because they re-released it, and then I saw Dragon Ball Broly wow. in. Yeah, it might be in in theaters. Wow. But I've seen other anime movies and films. Okay. So b- b- uh, before we get to Halo season, well, finale, t- well, before we get to TV news and reviews, yes. Yeah, I, I I have a segment, my favorite segment. Yes. Which is. The TikToks. Of course. Of course. So five. Oh, wait, wait. And real quick, I forgot. Spoiler free now. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were going to like jump to a different like reality because you don't want to watch the TikToks. But no, I, I do enjoy watching TikToks. Okay. It, right. Don't the fans like watching my natural reaction? Oh, they to, do. To they love ridiculous it. Pick By the TikToks? way, we have like 7,000 views on our Instagram videos. The, the last one. A lot of them have 7,000, not just one. Actually, one of them almost has 8,000. And yeah, we, have, like, we average wow. out like 5,000. So thank you guys. Watching. So people thank are you watching. So Maybe much. not you guys, yeah. but people, some other people are watching. Yeah. And definitely That's... not our audience member. <laughs> Who's right there over there. Yeah, he's not even. Yeah. On our studio's bed. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so tick, um, this is not ranked, but these were some of my favorite TikToks of the week. Okay. Let's go. Oh my gosh. And then, and then let's, let's go. go. <laughs> Am I Jesus? <laughs> Which Bible character are you? <laughs> who the Ran- fuck is that? <laughs> That's what I was going to say. Ran- <laughs> who's Deborah? Who the fuck is that rando? <laughs> fuck did that bitch do in the Bible? Oh, look, who's Deborah? I, I love the pause. She's like, who the fuck is Yeah, because I'd be like, uh, really, of all people? I know. She wanted to get Jesus. Mm, well, I would have got anybody but okay. Deborah. Uh, anybody on. but Deborah. Okay. You love watching cat videos and animal videos in general this is not a cat but oh. it's an animal okay and it's funny let's see i'll be the judge of that show me an animal that you regret spoiling so much <laughs> uh i feel like that's what? you what? yes that's something you would do right I, I, totally I, I i'd be like <laughs> i'd be like <laughs> that's so you <laughs> i have done that what's like, that is it a mouse i think that's a let me see no i know i know it's, what it, i forgot it could the be a name chinchilla yeah yeah, yeah it's a chinchilla <gasps> oh my god i saw the saddest tiktok it's not here um this girl who has a a mouse pet and she lost it in her apartment she had a small apartment why are you laughing because <laughs> i can almost see where it's going and the girl couldn't find the mouse pet and she's like, well, I'm she... just going to keep looking. Well, hold uh-huh, on. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. I'm waiting for the dead body. So she, get, she gets thirsty and then she opens the fridge and she hears a... The, the mouse was in between the, the, the door ha- fridge uh-huh. and the... You know what I'm talking about? Oh, yeah, I know what like you mean. Like yeah, the yeah. back of the, the door. How and the so f- when she opened it, she squished her mouse pet. Well, nobody told her to go near oh the fridge. Oh my god, she was heartbroken. It was so sad. Well, that's what the, well, the, la- well, the rat or mouse a learned its lesson. Didn't it? <laughs> no, they like, the mouse didn't know. We're not gonna blame the mouse. I'm totally blaming the mouse. <laughs> so mean. Okay, next six. Sorry about that story. Such okay. a rando story. <laughs> okay, thanks. Oh, okay. Well, okay. Oh. This is like a magic trick where they tell you, like, think of a color and can, then they guess it. Can I say it out loud? Yeah. Okay. And let's see if they guess it. Okay. Think of a color right now. Any color. Orange. Now, think of a number between oh. 1 and 100. Okay. Got it? Hey. Mm-hmm. Say it. 99. Fuck you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I walked ah. right into that. I kind of feel like the rat that went between the fridge thing. So that definitely was me. Oh right my there. god! That's what I get. That's what I get. Nobody was it asked 99 me. Ninety nine and orange. And that's what I get. <laughs> and he's like, "Can I say it out loud?" So happy to be proud of definitely himself. Definitely understand that rat now. Oh, or mouse! I got stuck between the fridge. Oh my god! And had its soul crushed along oh with its body. God. Okay. Yes. Okay. Let's watch another TikTok. <laughs> okay that was funny i also i also expected him to die oh because on account that he's like you know uh it looks so real i don't know how they did that an older gentleman yeah i thought he was gonna have a heart attack okay ageist 
Am I canceled now? <laughs> no. Okay, last one. I love when people like go to Walmart. I also I also have one for you, so, so that's not the last one. I have one for you. Oh yeah, you do have one. Have Denny one. has a TikTok for us, guys. Wow. Right. Okay. Right. I love it when people go to Walmart or Target and they just hand the phone to a complete stranger and do something like ridiculous. I'm almost scared. Let's go. Hey, my man. You are my corner something? Yeah. It's sure. my mom. Yeah, I got you, dude. It's going? Yeah. It's on? Yeah, yeah it's on. Right now? Yeah, yeah, it's on right now. Yeah. <laughs> what? How do you do that? Yeah. Oh, my that? God. His... That was great, dude. Yeah, I liked it. That's it. Thank you. Can you do that? You look scared. Because I'm not sure if I saw a human or a possible <laughs> alien. <laughs> no, it's a human. A, a human. Wait, can you? D- no, because I have a lumbar spine. <laughs> For real? How do you do that? Can you do it? Like, no. look that way? Without killing myself? No. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> and I just look like a chicken bobbing or I just look like something else. Thank you for that. You're welcome, oh, audience. Wait. Let's do it again. No, thank you. Come on. One, no. two, three. No. <laughs> no! No! <laughs> no! No! <laughs> <laughs> okay, that was TikTok. And I guess now it's time. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I still. I got, oh, I was going to show you. Yes, now yes, it's yes, time yes. for his TikTok. Yes, 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 yes. So, Denny. Yes. A little backstory. So I met I met this person at a, at a club, or rather I met the person's boyfriend and happened to be like you know that's my boyfriend. I'm like who this guy? I'm like who is this? And he's like you know those videos with the with the backpack backpack. I was like oh that's you. I don't know if you guys know like there's these videos that this guy does and he's, he's and big it, on TikTok. Yeah yeah because so. he, he's huge because he, he it, the whole thing is that he does like the this this thing to the door the explorer. He's dressed like door the explorer, and you know Dora has the backpack and she puts everything in the backpack. So mm-hmm. his whole thing is that he had this this kleptomania thing about putting things in a backpack and oh. it's always like when mom doesn't give me money for the book fair and then you see the video and, and he's like putting books in the backpack he's like backpack back he's like putting all the books in let's okay. see it so the recent one now and he's always has something where he's always what's his name uh nick well his his, Insta- his instagram is nick Torak Tor- Torak Torak okay. Torak nick Tor- <laughs> i'll just put it there yeah <laughs> I shouldn't have asked. Somewhere on the screen. Yeah, I shouldn't have asked. So, so he does. So he does like uh, these videos, and it's always you know something to do with like when I, when at my boyfriend's, you know, spending the first time at my boyfriend's, and he leaves taking all the boyfriend stuff like his Jordans, putting in the backpack, whatever. Okay. So this recent one, um, well, this happens. That's that's pretty much it. the joke. Is that what's the? That oh, now I feel. How you feel? I don't get it, Denny. All right, maybe you'll get this one. Backpack, backpack. Oh, uh, okay. Backpack, backpack. <laughs> oh my God, the water. So okay, now I get. All right, so, I get so it. the first one was the fact that that the he obviously has he's not stealing anything for his dad because that'd be dad. That's the whole joke. Oh, that's why he's not taking anything, and there's like okay, no backpack music. Okay. It's, just, it's just the music, and he's just okay. walking through the different stores because he's gonna get nothing for his dad. Beat that. That's the joke. Wow. But you know, but see now you know how I felt. So excellent. Yeah, okay. No. Okay. I get it. It's come full circle. <laughs> I just opened a portal. Yesterday, Denny was running at the movie theater, literally just doing this. Well, if you keep practicing, I'm bound to open a portal eventually. It's right there. Look. No, I just opened it right no, there. No, look, it's right there. Oh. He's looking at the ring. Um, the okay. ring. If I look at the ring too much, I'll get the ring face. <laughs> so get, got, you get points for get if you get that. Do you get uh, that? You yeah, actually get that from where? Yeah. No, come, okay. come on. I don't know. You've never seen Star Trek. You've never seen Gremlins. You've okay. never seen Ghostbusters. I've seen all horror You've never movies. seen Ghostbusters. I've seen all horror movies and thrillers. So that I know. That's except fine. for um, Halloween. Because honestly, that's not even like horror Okay. okay no ladies no, and- no how dare you say that halloween is not horror halloween it's a started thriller. It all. it's a thriller it's a slasher and a little comedy it is horror and slasher and it's not comedy it's There's a slasher yeah. about, wait are there funny things in that movie the, yeah a little but not the actual it's killings little, like, look don't even the killings are a little like keep comedic. michael myers name out your fucking mouth okay 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 i'm going to <laughs> 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 oh my god so we are at the 45 minute mark Oof, running out that of leaves us with um she hulk okay. halo and that's it i guess I, you I mean, well, we can do the thor trailer reaction okay so here okay. we go real quick i'll do this as fast as i can i can now use my super speed okay. so 
We've had recently we've had two season finales. We've had I'll talk about Picard first because that happened first. But Picard season finale. Um, the season overall, you know, I give it I give it a six point five sl- a slash seven. Um, and the reason is because it was kind of slow building up to what what eventually ended up being the payoff. So the last episode, I definitely give it an eight point five out of my rating system of. Oh. Is this for Picard? For Picard. So, so the okay. last episode, the season finale, I give it an eight point five. Okay. Um, it was a great payoff. But again, the payoff took too long. I mean, it was, a, it was a satisfying journey. We understand everything. I actually don't want to ruin or spoil it because I know he's going to see it eventually. Mm-hmm. But the Q story arc, everything eventually made sense. It just took too damn long to get there. Okay. So, but there, I would look forward to the next season. Now, Halo season finale, um, out of my rating system of, <laughs> I give it a nine. That last episode was like watching a video game come to life. It was amazing. So much really? happened. Uh, they left it... Almost like got a cliffhanger. I cannot wait for season two, which it has been renewed for, I think, two more seasons. Um, the season overall, I give it a solid eight. Um, and again, I just, I just, the actor playing Master Chief, Pablo Schreiber, who happens to be the brother of Lee Schreiber, who you may or may not know, but for me, he's the actor who appeared in the Scream franchises as Cotton. Um, so he did a great job at playing Master Chief. Um, and again, I, I look forward to um, the new season. Again, these shows, Paramount Plus, so yeah, beautiful okay so sh- now yeah. moving on yes so so yes moving on the she-hulk, she-hulk trailer the she-hulk trailer thoughts denny i i love it i because i mean i love she-hulk in general and seeing the trailer like i you know i see the potential for it so people complain about the cgi but i think it was just right and well, i just cannot wait for people it. were not just complaining about the cgi i have like three comments here okay. from the trailer okay, okay. One of them said, wow, I was highly skeptical, but this mask sweet sequel looks great. <laughs> Another one said, I love that they play the serious music like this isn't the most ridiculous show ever. And then the last one, <laughs> Shrek 5 <laughs> looks great. They're just being they're just being mean. I mean, she looked, I liked it. I think it's effects, interesting. She looked great. She looked great. And yes, it's She-Hulk is obviously not going to be a serious show. I mean, in the comics, you know, she... She has adventures. This one looks cute. I like when she's picking up that hot guy. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I I like, like a little yeah. baby. Oh, I can't yeah. wait to see that guy. Hey, some guys like that, too. It's like a fetish. Um. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I do. <laughs> so that, that's uh. pretty much it based on that. And um, oh, Obi-Wan. One, one final thing. Yes, Obi-Wan is set, to, is set to premiere this week, of course. By the Can time I you see it? this podcast, um, you, it probably will be July, August. <laughs> no, September. I say this because the last episode was, was about May 4th, about Star Wars. And to this day, it, it's... It's May 24th. It's already May... It's a, it's May 24th and it still hasn't aired. So it'll so. air eventually. So by but the time Obi-Wan. this airs, Obi Wan, can I, can no, I watch time, it or oh, no? Sorry. By the time this airs, Obi Wan will be over. It's only six episodes. <laughs> but anyway, so I, so I would say Obi Wan is amazing. <laughs> can I watch it or no? Yes, you can because you already saw the prequels. Okay, so cool. you could definitely watch it. Okay. So as long as you saw the prequels, okay. you can definitely watch it. It's only six episodes, two to premiere this coming Thursday. Cool. Which, of cool. course, by the time you see this, it'll be July. So it would have already aired. And I hope you guys liked it. So we're going to close the show on Thor. Denny didn't see the trailer. The new I trailer. Saw I did not. I, I saw it this did morning. Not. Surprisingly, Love, did not. Love and Thunder. Mm. Let's go. Oh my God. So, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's do this. Kids, get your popcorn now. Let me tell you the story of the space viking, Thor Odinson. He was no ordinary man, he was a god. After saving planet Earth for the 500th time, Thor set off on a new journey. Well, he got in shape, he went from dead bod. <laughs> What's up with him gaining weight and losing and after it? All that well, that's million, if you watch the movies, you understand. His title <laughs> who is that? <gasps> oh, spooky. Who is she? I thought you already saw the trailer. I did, but I'm, oh. I'm hyping it up. <laughs> you don't have to. I love the armor. Natalie Portman is back. My people. What's it been like? Three, four years? <laughs> Eight years, seven months, and six days. Give or take. Of the blip. My, uh, sensing feeling. Oh. See, I love the new armor. <laughs> right. The only ones who gods care about is themselves. Do you know who that is? Of course, so Christian Bale. Vow. Yeah. All gods will die. Christian Bale is. Uh, I was say that was very, very impressive what you did back there. It's just my first bad guy. Scary. He looks so thin. He's always shaking his weight. 
So is Thor a god? I'm trying to watch the trailer. <laughs> Yas, I can't wait. That's it. Do you like it? Oh yeah. No, yeah, yeah. I, I didn't get to see. Let's see. Oh wait. Who you are. I take off your oh. disguise. Love this part. And flip. <laughs> oh. Damn it! Is it? Is he really that jacked? Sure. Yes. Because that looks. Eventually. No, he's really that jacked. Oh, I cannot wait to see his. You know, we'll see his butt in the actual uh, big screen. <laughs> okay, but. <laughs> Oh, we're rewinding it. This, well, that's we his, have that's to. His actual body. Is this actual his body. actual body? Yeah, it actual has body. to be G CGI. No, that's his, he actually trained for the film. But this is too much. It's just perfect. I'm not saying it's not, but. Uh -huh. Out of my radius system, of, uh -huh. <laughs> I give this trailer. Uh -huh. Just because of that shot, huh? Mm -hmm. They really know how to get people going, huh? Mm -hmm. Right here, right here. Mm -hmm. They're right there. I know just what I'm having for dessert <laughs> and what cakes I'm eating. Denny, you're going to go to the movie, just watch that scene and then leave. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. No, no, okay. it, looks, it looks awesome. And I, I love the villain. I love, I love Christian Bale as a villain. I can't wait to see Natalie Portman. It looks, it looks great. It looks, I'm excited. My people. He's a god killer. Ever since I did the whole Natalie Portman. I love it. I love it. I love it. That's what it. she love does it. sound like when she does it. She does. She does. Yeah, that's I was why not I love elected it. to watch my people <laughs> my <laughs> suffer and die with Scott's vision in a committee. Well, that that is all. That's all, folks. Thank you guys for watching, and Don't we'll see you next to time. Don't forget to like, subscribe, oh, yeah. and... Uh, Someone's getting the hang of it. Oh, my yeah. God. Look at you being a YouTuber. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? <laughs> that was my Amber. Oh, Amber Heard yeah. with the dog and a bee. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, guys, for watching. Uh, we'll see you next time, and that's it. Make it so. Make it so. Engage. Engage. Goodbye. Good to be now.